Hello friends, welcome to Global Online. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss some important MCQs on money and banking for UGC net in economics. And if you are preparing for UGC net in economics, this video is helpful for you. And if you want to join our crash course for UGC net or any state level set in economics, they are, we are providing complete theory lectures and also complete my MCQs lectures. We are providing entire syllabus mock test with solution PDF. You will receive notes on all the units and we are also providing practice MCQ set. And if you want to join this crash course, you can contact us here. The number is given or, or else you can also comment on this video and we can also download our global online app from Play Store. So here the first question is the tax imposed on import and export of commodities is known as option A here four options are given as you all know tax means it is the payment made by the citizens of the country to the government without expecting any direct payment. So whenever the government is going to impose the tax on imports and also on exports on commodities on goods it is known as option A custom duties option b excise duties option c vat value added tax option d gst goods and service tax so the, whenever the tax is imposed on imports or exports of commodities it is known as the custom duties so option a custom duties is the right answer so and as you all know custom duties means it is the tax which is imposed on the imports and exports of the country and this is a form of for uh, this is a form of foreign trade control yes to control the foreign trade the government may impose custom duties and a policy the, uh, this is a and a policy that taxes foreign goods to increase or protect the domestic industry so for all these purpose uh, the government is going to use custom duties i hope it is clear so let us move to the next question uh, the second question is dash deals with the taxation and expenditure decisions of the government so uh, here four options are given which is going to deal with the taxation of the government and government expenditure option a monetary policy option b labor market policies option c trade policy option d fiscal policy so here as you all know fiscal policy is going to deal with the government revenue and government's expenditure and also government debt so here taxation means the government is going to receive the revenue so it is government revenue and also it is dealing with government expenditure it is known as the fiscal policy it's very easy question in this video i have taken very easy questions so day by day we'll move to the uh, difficult questions so fiscal policy means as you all know it is the it deals with government revenue and government expenditure the next question is which of the following is an example of direct tax in india so as you all know there are two types of taxes are the mainly two types of taxes are there one is direct tax another one is indirect taxes in these four options which is a which is an example of direct tax option a entertainment tax direct tax means the incidence of the tax and the impact of the tax will be on the same person yes we we cannot shift the tax it is known as the direct tax when it comes to indirect tax the impact will be on another person and the incidence will be on the different person means we can shift the tax so here our first one option a entertainment tax option b stamp and registration fees option c sales tax option d wealth tax so here wealth tax is known as the direct tax remaining all are entertainment tax stamp and registration fees sales tax all these are indirect taxes so here option d wealth tax is known as the direct tax so option d is correct answer so here we can see some other examples for direct tax and indirect taxes so direct tax means as you all know when a person bears the burden as well as makes payment to the government it means that the incidence of the tax and impact of the tax will be on the same person 
yes if the government is going to uh, put the tax on person x he is the person who is going to pay the tax it is known as the direct tax so examples of direct tax uh, corporation tax income tax interest tax expenditure tax wealth tax these are all known as the types of direct taxes so the next one indirect tax indirect tax means uh, incidence of the tax will be on different person and the real impact of the tax will be on the different person whenever a seller collects the tax from the buyer first and then pays the same to the government for an example if the government increases the amount of tax on a lux soap so initially the seller is going to pay the tax but after that uh, whenever buyer is going to buy the good he will collect that tax from the buyers it means that the seller is going to shift the tax on the buyer so the this is known as the indirect tax and examples custom duties service tax sales tax uh, state excise duty stamp and registration fees entertainment tax these are all indirect taxes Question number four, which of the following tax gives maximum revenue to the government? So there are various types of taxes are there. Sales tax, corporation tax, excise duty, income tax, custom duties. Yes, which, of the, which tax is going to give maximum revenue to the government? So if you go through the options here, uh, corporation tax stands first. So corporation tax is going to give more revenue to the Indian government. So it means corporation tax is the single largest source of the income to the government. So the next question is which of the following money transfer system allows 24 into 7 into 365 days transfer of money? Yes, uh, first one is IMPS, second one is CHUCK, NEPT, RTGS. So which, uh, which one is going to give? Uh, which one is allowing us to conduct transaction for 24 into 7 into 365 days so here the right answer is imps so imps means imps allows the transfer of money 24 into 7 into 365 days so as you all know imps full form you have to remember immediate payment service then IMPS, it is an instant payment interbank electronic fund transfer system in India. Unlike RTGS, the service is available 24 into 7 throughout the year, including bank holidays. The next question is, fiscal deficit is option A, budget expenditure minus budget receipts excluding borrowings. Option B, equal to primary deficit. Option C, capital expenditure minus capital receipts. Option D, revenue expenditure minus revenue receipts. So, fiscal deficit, here four options are given. Here the right answer is option A, budget expenditure minus budget receipts excluding borrowings. This is known as the fiscal deficit. Fiscal deficit means it is the difference between total revenue of the government and total expenditure of the government. It and in, in the income of the government, total taxes, it, it includes both the revenue from the taxes and non-debt capital receipts. So fiscal deficit means it is the difference between total income of the government and total expenditure of the government. So while calculating total revenue, borrowings are not included. Please remember this in, in, in the calculation of fiscal deficit, we are not going to include borrowing while calculating the total revenue of the government. So hence fiscal deficit is equal to budget expenditure minus budget receipts excluding borrowings the next question is as per the union budget of 2021-22 how many regional national institutes of virology will be set up option a6 option b2 option c3 option d4 so here option d4 is the right answer 
Yes, this you have to remember. Uh, uni, if you go through the Union Budget 2021-22, it is it was the first ever digital Union Budget. This you have to remember. The first digital Union Budget was to uh, the Budget of 2021 and 22. And it was presented by the Union Prime Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. And as per the Union Budget 2021-22, the central government has announced to set four regional institution of urology. And these regional NIV will help in efficiently countering the threats of viral pandemic in future. So the next question is, the rate at which banks lend to RBI is known as Option A bank rate Option B repo rate Option C reverse repo rate Option D interest rate The rate at which banks are going to give loan to the RBI Yes, when commercial banks will give loans to the uh, Reserve Bank of India It is known as the reverse repo rate Yes, when uh, commercial banks are receiving loans from RBI, it is known as the repo rate. But when RBI is going to receive loans from these commercial banks, it is termed as reverse repo rate. So reverse repo rate, it is the rate at which River Reserve Bank of India borrows funds from the commercial banks in the country. So it is the rate at which commercial banks in India park their excess money with Reserve Bank of India and this is, uh, this is usually for a short time. Question number 9. Which image is on the back of 20 rupees note of Mahatma Gandhi series? Option A. Red Port. Option B. Ellora Caves. Option C. Sanchi Stoop. Option D. Rani Kiva. So in this video I have taken very easy questions. From the next video we will move to the uh, difficult questions also so here which image is on the back of 20 rupees note so Ellora Q so as you all know yes, yes just if you check 20 rupees notes you will come to know and on 10 rupees Sun Temple of Konark on 20 rupees yellow Ellora Q's image you will find on 50 rupees note you will see Humpy with chariot then on 100 rupees uh, note you will see Rani Kiva, then 20, 200 rupees note, Sanchi Stu, 500 red port with Indian flag, 2000 rupees Mangalayana. Question number 10. The monetary policy framework is formulated by. So, who is going to formulate the monetary policy? Option is Central Bank, Option B, CDB, Option C, uh, RBI, Option D. Uh, National Stock Exchange of India. So the monetary policy is going to formulate by Reserve Bank of India. So RBI is going to formulate the uh, monetary policy. Yes, please remember it. So the Reserve Bank of India is vested with the responsibility of conducting monetary policy. And please remember this, this responsibility is explicitly mandated under the Reserve Bank India, uh, India Act. 1934 and monetary policy means it is going it is it refers to the use of monetary instruments under the control of central bank to regulate uh, ma magnitudes such as interest rate money supply availability of credit to the people and the monetary policy committee committee Yes, please remember it. MPC Monetary Policy Committee. Con this is constituted by the central government under the section 45ZB. And the power, the primary objective of monetary policy is to maintain price stability in the economy. So the next question is: the disinvestment commission was set up in India in option A 1996. Option B 1992, Option C 1994, Option D 1996, sorry 1976. So the disinvestment commission was set up in India in 1976. So Option D is right answer. Yes, in uh, 
in 1996 the government of india set up a disinvestment commission under the ministry of industries just yes, please make a correction here it is option a 1996 not option d it is option a 1996 Yes, the mandate of the commission was to assess the viability and advise the government on disinvesting various public sector enterprises through market development and diversifying transfer of ownership of the PSUs for five uh, to ten year. Question number twelve: Which one of the following best describes the term capital gains tax in India? option a tax on dividend received from corporate bonds option b tax on profit from the sale of capital asset during a year option c tax on interest received from bank fixed deposits option d tax on profit from sale of sh shares held for uh, more than 12 months so here uh, capital gain tax means it is the tax on the profit from the sale of capital assets during a year it is known as the capital gain tax so capital gains tax uh, cgt it is a tax on the profit realized on the sale of non inventory assets uh, for examples uh, sale of stocks bonds precious metals real estate property these are all capital gain taxes question number 13 who is the author of the book freedom has development option a gunnar mildal option b vanayak option c amartya sen option d samuel sun so the book uh, named uh, freedom has development is written by amartya sen question number 14 when the market rate of interest falls which one of the following will happen option a bond price and bond yield both will rise option b bond price and bond yield both will fall option c bond price will rise bond yield will fall option d bond price will fall and bond yield will rise so when the market rate of interest falls when the market rate of interest is going to fall the bond prices will rise is yes, because of low interest more number of people are going to buy these bonds so the price of the bond will rise but the real return on bond the yield on the bond because of low interest it is going to fall so option c is the right answer so when market rate of interest is going to decrease the bond people more people will buy these bonds so um, price of the bond will rise but because of low interest the yield on the bond bond is going to decrease so if uh, if interest rate rises bond prices will fall and yield on the bond will increase and uh, vice versa if interest rates fall bond prices will rise and yield on the bond will fall question number 15 the elements given below are some of the m4 money supply in indian economy option a broad money m3 b all deposits with the post office saving banks c national saving certificates select the most appropriate option which constitutes m4 so here the right answer is option a a and b broad money m3 and b all deposits with the post office saving banks Right. Okay, here you can see M1 and M definitions of M1, M2, M3, and M4. M1 means currency with the public, demand deposits with banking system, plus other deposits with the RBI. M2 constitutes M1 plus saving deposits at post office. M uh, M3 is equal to M1 plus time deposits in banks, and M4 is M1 plus all the deposits in post office saving, excluding NSC National Saving Certificates. Okay, friend. This is about today's session, and if you want to join our crash course for UGC NET in economics or all the other state level set in economics, you can contact us. You can comment your, you can comment uh, in uh, comment box. You can call us, and you can also download our global online online app from Play Store. Thank.